Okay, well here we go. This is a demonstration of the Studio Connect 48 and Cubase 5. Uh, I used to be able to record in 192, but for some reason I can no longer. If we check out the current sample rate, it's set to 96 kilohertz, and we're using the TC Near Control Panel 2.1.1.2332 and the FireWire 31289. And if we look at the uh, details here of the actual control panel, you'll see the firmware version for the Studio Connect 48 is uh, version 1.08 uh, build 1853. So we'll now just go back to the system settings and move the screen back. Okay, so now uh, I'll just have to look. Uh, we're looking at a file of all the different versions of uh, TC Near software that we've had. Uh, this is the current one I've got at the moment uh, running. It's 210355869. Uh, if we look at the actual SK48 firmware, is the 101853. Uh, take disregard of the 103PC SK48 firmware. Uh, but uh, certainly that's the TC Near software 211 R2332 and the uh, yeah you can check it all out now if we look at this column the C5192 kilohertz that's the actual uh, column that shows which versions of the software work and it only seems to work with this 1.0853 driver I've yet to try it with any of the other control panels using the older firmware but it would be an interesting thing to try and uh, I may do a follow up on that at some stage I mean it would be great to use the latest thing with the latest driver uh, but anyway we'll just uh, see what's going on here uh, yes uh, as you can see the this is the only version of the software that I could work at 192 and it seems to be based around this uh, SK48 firmware now what we'll do, we'll go up here and we'll create a new project uh, take no interest of what's on there so there we have a new project and uh, I think uh, when I rec recorded this there were some problems, so we'll just look at the project setup and uh, unfortunately it, 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 it defaulted to the 192 kilohertz, which is just a dash so I had to do a bit of playing around just to try and get it uh, get Cubase to recognize that we're recording at 44.1 kilohertz but uh, in a couple of seconds uh, we'll check it out and no it's still not recognized it uh, and eventually it does come good for some reason during this uh, recording it uh, didn't happen as quickly as it has on previous occasions but there you go it's at 44.1 kilohertz and it matches at the sample rate for the project and on the TC near control panel. Okay, so now what I'll do, I'll uh, probably get, yeah, there we go, we'll add a stereo track uh, just for ease of access, it was easy to do. You can see it's still recording at 44.1, but we'll go over here and we'll change it to 192. Now, if you're watching the middle of the Cubase screen, it'll say that the uh, project tempo, uh, project uh, recording speed has updated to 192 kilohertz which uh, according to Cubase or Steinberg you can't do now if you check the project setup uh, it says here that the sample rate is dash so obviously that you can do it but it just doesn't show it to you so let's start recording there we go we'll just start recording a supposed 192 kilohertz uh, thing we'll stop it now we'll call up the media pool and we'll get the list, uh, come on, hello, there we go, and as you can see there, the is recorded at 192 kilohertz, uh, and at 32 bit, so I'll just bring the screen back to uh, where it was, um, yeah, I'll, I'll finish this project, I'll save and won't delete the actual file that we created, but I'll open up one that I did previously, and uh, as you can see, if we go to the project setup, it's still at the minus sample rate because we're still on the TC near control panel at 192 kilohertz. And if you look at these uh, audio files in the pool window, if I stretch it open, 
you'll see there that each of the uh, files is at 192 kilohertz 32 bit which is exactly the same as what uh, the project uh, is set up so it is possible to record it is possible to defeat the whole uh, whatever it is that Steinberg and uh, TC Electronics have done to disable or shall I say uh, limit the audio hardware and uh, get your recording at 192 if that's what you want. Cheers.